Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve it coming across a Fortnite DX11 feature. Level 10 is required to run the engine error. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So, what we are going to first do here would be to go ahead and update our graphics driver. So, start by opening up the start menu, type in device manager. Best match to go back with device manager listed right above control panel. So go ahead and just left click on that. And now you want to expand your display adapter section. And then right click on whatever it is listed under there and select update driver. Select search automatically for drivers. Okay, so it might see the best driver for your device is already installed. You can go ahead and select search for updates in Windows Update if you want to take it a step further. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and close out of there. And now we're going to open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one. And into Google, you want to go ahead and just type in direct X download, and you want to search for that. Select the download direct X and user runtime web installer. And you want to go select the orange download button after you've selected your correct language. Give it a moment here. And it should not take very long to download. Just going to head and open up that file once it's done. Make sure you're getting it from the Microsoft domain here as well. It should say Microsoft.com up at the top address bar. And it should be a verified publisher from the Microsoft Corporation. So go ahead and select yes to run this file. It's going to say welcome to the setup for DirectX. Go ahead and accept the agreement and then select next. I'm going to uncheck install the Bing bar. It's not necessary for this tutorial. And then we're going to select next. Select next again. Download size is about 44 megabytes, so not very big.
Okay, so once that's done, select finish. You want to go ahead and restart your computer. And once your computer has restarted, that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do a lot of help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.